Um, the pre-season period, you know, is uh, drawing close. Yes, the players, yes. a lot of the, you know, the first year, second, third, fourth year players will be here pretty soon. Yeah. What can they expect um, once they return? Look, I think one of the things that all players have had programs once the season finishes, so it's really important that they've actually adhering to a program. So when they do come in, there is a smooth transition in, into the actual pre-season. I think that's really important. Um, now with the AFL, uh, CBA, with the agreement, there is so many weeks they have to have off. Um, our full list doesn't come back together till the 2nd of December. So um, it's a little bit different to the, the old days where we were able to have a good access to them uh, beforehand. So we'd like to think that a lot of our players have been you know, doing their conditioning, doing a bit of ball work and so on. Um, and really now between December and probably the March period when we start, there's an opportunity to develop a foundation and also a platform to have a really successful season. Can the players expect, um, you know, um, a, a fairly rigid uh, campaign ahead? I mean, I know Arizona's part of the, of the plan. Yeah. Um, you know, is there tough love involved here in, you know, in the programs that you set the players? Oh, no, no doubt. Look, I think, I think you, know, you know, we're here and our charter is to be successful, you know. Um, so to have success, you, you've got to work hard, you know, and, um, and it takes time, but, but um, we're all kind of committed to, you know, for that success to, to win a flag, and that's what, we want to, that's what we're aiming to do, you know. So, um, and that involves a lot of, a lot of work. So um, competition is very close, so we have to ensure that, you know, we, we maximise everything out of a player, um, whether it's a first year player or a player who's been in the system for 14 years. Um, you know, every player has certain kind of KPIs and we've got to address those KPIs and also put accountability on that player. It won't be a walk in the park, you know, this is going to be a challenging time for them. Um, but that's why it's an elite sport. You know, we're here to, here to get success and that means that it's going to be a lot of, a lot of challenging times ahead of them. And I'd imagine Mick, you know, took advantage of the, his first year as Carlton coach to really, you know, understand the workings of the players and work out, the, you know, who fitted where and sure. how, how the machine worked as a whole. Do you expect that you yourself can make an immediate impact or will it take you, you know, 12 months or so to get into the swing of things here? Look, I think they've, they've already got a, a very good program here anyway and I think, it, you know, it does take time to really kind of understand the nuances of, of a player as well. Um, but going away on a camp, you can really kind of see how the players cope with stress from a physical and also from a psychological perspective. Um, so that gives me kind of a bit of a, I suppose, a leg up to, to, to identify where the players are at. It does take time, you know, but, um, but that's where I need to draw upon my staff as well um, and work very closely with them in collaboration and with the coaches too so they can provide some support for me to get a transition to understand the players. Um, but it does, it does take a bit of time, so, um, you know, I'm looking forward to getting my hands dirty and start working closely with the players.